I'm Mary Jones. Um, I'm a project manager for a biotech firm. So I'm not have a lean background, but I've been curious about continuous improvement in lean. And so I've been on a journey. And about a year ago, I discovered Kata and the Kata Girl Geeks. And so for those women on the call, I strongly encourage you to join us in Kata Girl Geeks. When I joined Kata Girl Geeks, I got into a learning group and was able to practice Kata with my coach, Andrea Lee. And I'm gonna to share today a key moment that made a light bulb moment for me when we talked about reading the target condition as a hypothesis. I had created my current condition and was looking at how I ran my project and had many metrics that I was measuring um, and captured those data. My next step, Andrea asked me to create the target condition. And this was really hard for me. I struggled because how do I know what the future is gonna look like? How do I know which of these metrics I'm currently looking at are relevant? How do I know which ones are gonna impact the target condition? It made no sense to me. I, I really was just mothed. But she suggested put one together. So I proposed a target condition and brought it to her and said, I did it, but how do I know it's right? So she said, you don't. It's a hypothesis, not a must do. And that was an aha moment for me. So then she said the next key step was, now let's read it through as a hypothesis. And I literally spoke out loud and walked through and said, if I follow this operating pattern and do step one, two, three, four on my meetings, I propose that I will see these process metrics. And if those work, then my outcome metric I propose will be I will get this rating for two days in a row. And again, as I read it out loud, the links just clicked into place for me. And I thought, aha, this is what I'm proposing. How do they connect? That was the key thing. Like, if this, then that. The other thing about the word hypothesis for me was, okay, it freed me up. This is a guess, a hypothesis. We're gonna see what happens as we get to this target condition. It gave me freedom to experiment, and to try and to learn. And so when I got there, it was not, I have to meet this target. It was, let's see what happens. Was it right? Was it wrong? What did we learn? Where are we going to go next? So as a learner and as a new person in Kata, this was a critical moment to think, ah, how do we think through the target condition? And it's a hypothesis. And reading it out loud is a really critical step. And I still do it every time I'm doing a new target condition. Um, I do it for myself and I'm just starting to be a coach and I'm gonna encourage that as well. So I'll leave you with this other question besides the target condition, uh, what other parts of the storyboard can be read as a hypothesis? 